Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Then On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lawrence Seiler. I'm on Seiler. And on this news edition of Ableton On Air, uh, we have some sad news. For those that don't know, in Vermont there was a shooting in Buffalo. But before we do that, we would like um, to say um, special thanks to Washington County Mental Health and Green Mountain Support, Ser Support Services and many other supporters and um, uh, many other supporters and sponsors of, of Able Den On Air. Now let's uh, get to our um, show today, which is about uh, news and injustice uh, in, um, in the world globally and you know what's going on and it's really important to the for the special needs community to know. Um, the latest, according to CNN, uh, now, what happened is, um, um, what happened that um, on uh, the late on in in May recently, uh, uh, there was a um, supermarket shooting in Buffalo at Topps Supermarket, uh, but according to CNN. Um, they, there are 10 people that have uh, recently passed away. Um, actually, no, 13. 11, uh, there are 13 people that have passed away um, uh, from the recent supermarket shooting, the top supermarket in Buffalo. Um, yeah, an 18 year old did it. Okay, now... Um, According to CNN, uh, and if you want more information on the supermarket shooting, you can go to www.cnn.com uh, forward slash U.S. News, uh, Buffalo Supermarket. Um, so uh, on the CNN website uh, recently, it says that President Biden condemned the poison of white supremacy as he honored the 10 Americans that were killed in a racist mass shooting in Buffalo grocery store Saturday, uh, this, yep. pa uh, this past Saturday, um, which uh, now <clears throat> President Biden called for the mass shooting terrorism as he urged uh, as he urged the 
the action on assault weapons and effects to address and efforts to address the relentless exploitation of internet of the internet to recruit and mobilize terrorism. Eleven of the thirteen people shot in the rampage were African American or or um, BIPOC, uh, which means black or person persons of color. Um, uh, officials said that the massacre is being investigated as a hate crime by the Justice Department. In uh, in a 180-page um, uh, in a one in a 180-page uh, paper on the internet, the 18-year-old white suspect allegedly detailed how he had been how he had been radicalized and describes the attack of terrorism and himself as a white supremacist. Um, so, 13 people were shot, 10 fatally, in Buffalo, New York, supermarket Saturday, in a massacre authorities believe was racially motivated. The following people have... Uh, uh, the following people have been shot. Uh, Ten people fate, uh, uh, die, uh, passed away. Roberta Drury, um, 32, of Buffalo. Uh, Marcus Mo Morrison, 52, of Buffalo. Um, Andre McNichol of Auburn, New York, um, 53. Aaron Salter, 55, of Lockport, New York. Geraldine Talley, uh, 62, of Buffalo, New York. Um, Celestine Chaney, please forgive me uh, if I make a mistake with the names. 62, of Buffalo, New York. Uh, I, I mean, sorry, uh, 65, of Buffalo, New York. Um, Haywood Patterson, 67, of Buffalo, New York. Um, Catherine Massey, 72, of Buffalo, New York. Um, Pearl Young, 77, of Buffalo, New York. And Ruth Whitfield, 86, of Buffalo, New York. Wow. Um, New York Governor Kathy Hochul announced that $2.8 million in funding for the victims and their families uh, is being shipped there, uh, according to a statement from her office. Um, now, if, yeah, so um, more about the victims. Buffalo shooting victims, hero, uh, hero security guard, and a teacher were a pillar of the community among the 10 who, who um, died. So, um, a retired police lieutenant, a substitute teacher, who, and a substitute teacher was the pillar of the community, a beloved grandfather of six, a dedicated community activist also died. Uh, they, were, they were among the 10 people killed in the Buffalo, um, New York supermarket this past Saturday, um, a massacre um, authorities believed that was racially motivated. 13 people aged 26, aged 20 to 86 were shot. 11 were black or BIPOC, um, African American, uh, and two were white, Buffalo police said, and authority. Um, now, uh, yeah, so there's, um, oh, the, the 20 year old, uh, was Zaire Goodman of Buffalo. Um, uh, he was treated and released from the hospital. Oh. Um, yeah. There, there were a couple people who, uh, had non threatening, um, oh. things. So, um, the latest here, Governor Kathy Hochul has announced $2.8 million in funding um, 
for their victims and their families, according to a uh, statement from the office. A GoFundMe <clears throat> has been compiled in a list of verified fundraisers dedicated to helping uh, in the wake of the tragedy. In the past 24 hours, uh, uh, have been traumatized from New Yorkers, Hochul said in a statement on Sunday. Uh, the entire world is watching how we come together as New Yorkers to overcome this unthinkable tragedy. Buffalo is her hometown, and the city of good neighbors and New York State uh, will be good neighbors to them. So let's, yeah, so let's go down. All right. So, um, Victims have to be exactly. Uh, New York State Office of Victim Services in Buffalo will be throughout the week and throughout the month <clears throat> to administer funding and assist victims and families to obtain financial assistance from the state. Uh, the statement reads, the suspected, suspected shooter, Peyton S. Grendon, 18 years old, uh, Caucasian man, <clears throat> traveled hours to target the uh, Tops Friendly Markets store in a predominantly uh, BIPOC neighborhood. Yeah. Mayor Byron Brown said, investigators are reviewing the hateful rant um Posted on Saturday in connection, um, in connection with the shooting probe, two federal law enforcement officers officials told CNN the statement author described himself as a fascist, white supremacist, and anti-Semite. Here's how loved ones remembering those that were lost. Um, sit. C Celestine Chaney, 65, was a grandmother of six and a caring person. Her grandson told CNN, um, you know, these were caring, caring people, um, and it's just senseless how um, people have passed away. Yeah. All right. Um, for more information on... The shooting, you can go to www.cnn.com uh, forward slash U.S. Buffalo shooting. Now let's get uh, to the other piece of the show, which is the nurse. Probation... Is that the woman taking to the lake? Yeah. Here we I go. Still, I still think she's No, no, Tennessee. Her. This was Tennessee. Um, okay, so uh, according to NPR, www.nationalpublicradio.org, uh, um, uh, Tennessee nurse convicted in lethal drug error, sentenced to three years probation. Uh, this is a this is as of May thirteenth, two thousand twenty-two, four fifty p.m. According to NPR, um, Radonda Vogt, V-A-U-G-H-T, a former Tennessee nurse of a hospital convicted of two felonies. For a fatal drug error, whose trial began in a rally in in a rallying cry for nurses fearful of the criminalization of medical mistakes, um, will not be required to spend time in prison. Okay, so let me explain to everybody what was going on. Basically, uh, the pharmacy or the pharmaceutical uh, machine that dispenses the medication. Um, she accident uh, accidentally 
quote unquote, gave the patient the wrong medication. Uh, she put in the first letter of of the medication, which was V, and gave the uh, person uh, a lethal dose because it is lethal. It's the same medication that that puts prisoners to sleep in uh, jails. Um, so basically this, if you make a mistake, well, personally, in our opinion, yes, it was a mistake, but uh, get yourself glasses. If you see the medication is wrong, so you won't make a mistake and kill the wrong person. So Redonda Vaughn, a former Tennessee nurse convicted of two felonies for the fatal drug error whose trial was a rallying cry for nurses of the criminalization of medical mistakes will not spend time in any prison. Davidson County, Tennessee Criminal Court Judge Jennifer Smith on Friday granted vault, vault uh a, ju a judicial diversion, which means <clears throat> the convictions will be expunged if she completes a three-year probation. Smith said uh, the Murphy family suffered a terrible loss and nothing that happens here today is an easy loss. Uh, Ms. Vaught was well aware of the seriousness of the offense. Like I said, Get yourself glasses if you make a mistake, um, in our opinion. Smith said she credibly expressed remorse in the courtroom. The judge noted uh, that Vaught had no criminal record uh, that has been removed. In the, she, she's no longer working in a healthcare setting and will never practice nursing again. The judge also said, this was a terrible, terrible mistake, and there have been con uh, consequences to the defendant. Um, as the sentence will, was read, tears erupted from the crowd and hundreds of purple-clad protesters who gathered outside the courthouse in, oppos in, in opposition to Vaught's prosecution. Vaught 38, a former nurse, at the Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, faced up to eight years in prison. In March, she was convicted of criminally negligent homicide and gross neglect of an impaired adult in in the two in the 2017 death of 75 year old patient Charlene Murphy. Uh, Murphy was prescribed. Versed, V E V E S E D, a sedative, uh, which is known as a sedative, but Vaught in, inadvertently gave her a fatal dose of Vecaronium, V E C U R O N I U M, a, power, a powerful paralyzer, which they use in prisons. Charlene Murphy's son, Michael Murphy, testified at Friday's sentencing hearing that his, that his family uh, remains devastated by the southern death of their matriarch. She was a forgiving person who would not want vote to serve any prison time. He said, but his widower father uh, wanted Vogt to receive the maximum sentence. My dad suffers every day from this, Michael Murphy said. He goes out to the graveyard three or four days a week and just sits there and cries. Um, Vogt's case stands out because of medical errors, even deadly ones, Gen generally within the purview of the medical of state medical boards and lawsuits are almost never prosecuted in criminal court. 
No. The Davidson, the the Davidson County uh, District Attorney's Office, <clears throat> which did not, did not advocate for any particular sentence or oppose probation, has described Vaught's case as an indictment, in, in, indictment of one of one careless nurse, not the entire medical profession. Persecutors uh. argued in trial that Vote overlooked multiple warning signs that she grabbed uh, the wrong drug, uh, including to notice Versed is a liquid and Vercorolium is a powder. Wow. Vote admitted that the error <clears throat> was a mix-up, and the mix-up was discovered in her defense, largely focused on arguments that an honest mistake should not constitute a crime. Like we said, get yourself glasses. If you can't see the small print on medication, um, glasses work. Um, but you know, she's no longer practicing nursing. Um, and the nurse goes on to say, I've lost more than my uh, medical, license, medical nursing license in my career. I will never be the same person. Vought said in a voice quivering, uh, quivering as she began to cry. When Miss Murphy could die, part of me died with her. Um, at one point, during the statement, Vaught turned to face Murphy, Murphy's family and apologized for both the fatal error and the public campaign against her prosecution. Uh, may have forced the family to relieve, to relieve their loss. Um, so, if you want more information on uh, this case, uh, go to www dot national public radio dot org that's npr dot org forward slash health uh nurse sentence probation um as far as that is concerned we understand nurses make mistakes but when there are fatal errors you really have to um uh take into account you know uh this these, you know these things um, but you must uh, keep your medication labeled properly. If you if you accident, you know people do get older. Yeah, so yeah. Um, people do get older, and even even patients taking medication make mistakes. So um, we would make the suggestion that instead of prescription bottles, uh, get yourself. Uh, talk to your local pharmacist uh, in Vermont and um, beyond, you know, globally, and get yourself bubble packs properly labeled and make sure that they're properly labeled and have somebody help you if you can't do it yourself, but make sure that they are properly labeled so uh, you live a long, prosperous life. Um, and, and so we won't have these uh, negligent mistakes. Um uh, anything you want to say before we end? No, I want to say that. I think the nurse should have done some time. Okay, well, uh, like I said, any nurse should get themselves glasses or get assistance when assisting people with their medication. Um, uh, again, thank you to our sponsors, uh, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others, and we would like to say our um, our condolences to anybody who has recently passed away from any medical uh, situation that they could not control. Uh, uh, I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. Stay tuned for the next Able Done On Air. For more information on Able Done On Air, you can go to www. 
orcamedia.net. And for more information on any of these uh, stories, especially the one with the drug era, you can go to npr.org, um, www.npr.org, or any uh, news outlet, including CNN, www.cnn.com. Um, again, I'm Lawrence Seiler. See you next time. I'm Lawrence Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press, Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England Chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.